by tons of different people. It's extremely flexible and has the best support out there because so many people are using it. But you can see that this is just the default what it looks like. Hey guys, welcome back for another video. Here are my top three things to make your new super box even better. Hopefully, if you just got one, you watched my full review and saved yourself some change. If not, go watch that. It's gonna walk you through everything you need to know about it. Now out of the box, this is your standard launcher. I went through all of that in the original review and I'm gonna show you how you can change this and make it look like virtually anything you want. Maybe you don't like these folders here. Maybe you don't like to see this ad block here, whatever. Don't worry, you can change it. But first, for your safety, it's always recommended to use a VPN. If we go into apps, the one I'm using and suggest purely based on my personal use is Surfshark. Not saying it's gonna be the best for you because it highly depends on what devices you use, where you are, and what you need to do. If you wanna use it on your whole network or install it on individual devices, what your devices are, et cetera, et cetera. But Surfshark gives me my full gigabit up and down, works on all my devices, and most importantly, works reliably without having to do anything. I'll put a sign up code if you wanna save some money for that down in the description, but please feel free to use whatever VPN you like. My second tip is using aerial views. If you're a fan of the Apple TV screensavers, well, here you go. Not only do you have access to the Apple TV screensavers, but a ton of others that stream or your local files, whatever you wanna do. It's a fantastic free screensaver. I use this on my Ugoos and Nvidia Shield as well. But here's the meat and potatoes of this video, a new launcher. I've installed four here just so you can see them. These are four popular ones that are easily found right on the Google Play Store. Now, some of these are very different than others. Projective E is going to be for most people because it is by far the most popular one out there. It is used on tons of different devices by tons of different people. It's extremely flexible and has the best support out there because so many people are using it. But you can see that this is just the default what it looks like. And you can change this as far as you want to go. It's got built-in settings for it where you can change pretty much anything. You can find all those just by searching the Google Play Store for the word launcher. But if you're like me, maybe you like something more minimalistic like this. This is Sideload Channel Launcher 4, and it is my favorite. This is what I prefer to run. And again, you can make it look like whatever you want. This is almost out of the box. I simplified it a little bit, but we've got a clock. You can change the font, where it is, what it looks like, if you like the border around it, if you want the labels, where the buttons are. If you even want buttons, you can change the icons. You can do whatever you want. But here, I've got access to the things that I actually want to launch, the live TV, the video on demand, and the DVR, and all the other crap is hidden. I don't wanna see folders that I'm never gonna go in or a settings that's always sitting there that I don't wanna go in. You go down to the bottom, everything is still there in one nice tidy menu. But your home screen, your new launcher, looks like this. It's a fantastic launcher. If you go into its settings, select open admin mode, now you're in edit mode. And this is how you add things, move things around, resize, etc., etc. Super easy. When you're done editing, you just close admin mode and it's back in normal use. You wanna add something to it, you just bring up your apps. Let's say I wanna add downloader to the screen. You just hold down the OK button, add to home screen. Select an icon, and there it is. Super easy. I wanna put it over here at the end, and we're done. That's as easy as it is to add things to the home screen. It really is simple and very flexible. And just to note, this isn't going to improve the performance at all of this particular box. The Superbox S7 Ultra, which I'm running here, has fantastic hardware. There's no problem at all with the stock launcher. And I really love this launcher because it's super easy. You don't need any third-party apps. You don't have to sideload anything. This will completely take over as default for your launcher on the machine. You just go into its app settings, select default launcher. Launcher 7 is the one that comes with the box. Whatever else you have installed, you can select down here. I'm gonna select side load channel launcher 4. I'm gonna go back in, back into app settings, back into select default launcher, and I'm going to select always. Now, whenever the box reboots or you press the home key on the remote, this comes up 
not the stock launcher 7. If you want to go back, you just switch it back. Nothing has changed permanently, and it doesn't change anything that the box came with. If you want to save big on the box, got a discount code for you down below. Save 70 bucks. That's it. Hope it helps. See you next time.